Isaac Newton is the first to understand that white light is composed of colors. So he takes white light, puts it through a prism, and he gets Roy G. Biv. Actually, he had a mystical fascination with the number seven, so he wanted to lay down seven colors. But indigo is just really blue-violet. But anyhow, we'll give him his indigo because he did all that stuff before he turned 26. So he's got the colors, and then he took those colors, merged them back together, and he got white light out the other side. That's some freaky stuff. William Herschel comes around later and says, I wonder, just to even ask this question, I wonder if the different colors of light have different temperatures. So he laid down the spectrum and he put a thermometer in each color. And then he had a, an eighth thermometer that he used as the control thermometer. You put that over to the side where there are no colors. And that would presumably just measure the room temperature. And then he watches the thermometers. And the control thermometer goes through the roof. And he says, something must be coming through the prism that I cannot see. And he describes this as light unfit for vision. He discovers infrared light. 